Hey guys, welcome to Crunk and Matt Making Tips and Tricks episode 11. In this episode we are going to be going over how we can use the render faces option to make objects with different faces having different textures and colours like you can see here. Anyways, let's quickly see how this looks in game. So as you guys can see here, it's just a normal cube except these faces are all red and this face here is blue, even though it looks like it's just the same object. Anyways, let's see how we actually do this. So pretty much the way this works is we actually have two objects except we change which faces are rendered on some of them. So for example on the red one here, if we go over here to the render faces setting, you can see all the faces are rendered except the left face. So this one that you can see through here. And on this object here, it is the opposite. All the faces aren't rendered except the left one. So if we create a new cube, I can show you how this works. So make a cube, bring it to where you want your object to be or whatever, let's just put ours here. Let's just set the texture to the default texture and make it like some sort of grey thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the render faces option and we're going to de-render which face we want to. So in this case we want to de-render the front face. Now another way you can do this is by hitting M which turns on face selection and you can actually manually do it. So that gives you a bit more control and makes it easier for you to know, you know where you're actually deselecting the face. Anyways, let's click M to turn that back off. What we're going to want to do is select this object, hit Shift R, then go over to color, set it to whatever you want and then go to render faces and make it the opposite of what it was. So instead of having everything rendered except the front, we're having everything not rendered except the front. So now we've got this here, and now if we just test this really quick, you can see here we've got our grey box and then this one face is rendered as red. Now this is actually useful for making things like torches and lights and stuff, where you might want one face to have no shading, but one face to have shading. Let's see how we do that. So what we can do is go to our already, you know, pre-made thing, go to the face which is red, so we're just going to move the grey one over so we can select the red one, and we're going to set the colour to a bright white, and we're going to set the emissive to a bright white too, and we're going to set shading to be off. And now what we can do is just move the grey back over it, and if we test this real quick, you can see that this face is all bright white, but this face is not. The only thing is the shading from the grey actually carries over to this as well, so really there's not too much difference. What you can do now is just, you know, add a light cone to this, and it'll be sort of like a really giant torch. Anyways guys, that does it for the episode, I hope you enjoyed, it was a pretty short one, but of course it's just a tips and tricks episode, so that's to be expected. Hopefully guys, I should have some more episodes coming out soon, I've got a few planned for this weekend, so keep an eye out for those. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.